it's funny to me because Twin Star literally makes the same mistakes that retail does and don't expect anything to change with the start of the arena season nothing's gonna change why would the ratios change at all you think all of a sudden they're gonna be more hordes playing and queuing up for battlegrounds no to me it looks like twin stars trying so hard to be blizz like that they're coping the very same mistakes that retail does like literally retail has hundreds of content creators streamers and youtubers that give them feedback about everything that's wrong with the game but retail just wouldn't listen they either don't want to listen to it or they don't have the capacity they don't have the people to do it they don't have the developers they're not hiring the right people they're not collaborating with them and there are literally people that would do it for free just to make WoW better and it's the same on private service it's same here the twin stars literally copying the very same mistakes that retail's been making but retail's got it right after a few years okay retail's now adding solo queue retails added mercenary mode stuff like that but twin star is still living in the past they're not going to implement what blizzard has now because they didn't have it back then does twin star not have enough developers and uh, testers and stuff like that most likely you get as much back as you invest if you're not willing to invest into new testers and developers then don't expect things to change in your favor. And I think Twin Star is most likely comfortable with the way they are right now. They're doing their Cataclysm and they're the best at what they do. And that's the Cataclysm expansion. But why telling us that you're releasing Mists of Pandaria? And why making people expect you to release it soon? At least at least be honest with players and communicate that's one of the things I hate the most about WoW you should communicate tell the players that you're listening that you've heard their complaints and that you're working on it and provide us the players with concrete solutions and dates of what and when you're doing it like for instance now everybody's complaining look at the discord you can look at the pvp channel on discord on twin stars apollo and you'll see everybody complaining about the state of pvp right now everybody's complaining literally and there are so many smart people that give you actual real good advice on what you should be doing and how to improve the pvp on the server but nobody hears back from them. There is nothing refutable about this statement anyway. I studied English linguistics, but I cannot decipher what this sentence means and how it helps the community. How does that answer any of the ongoing issues? Just tell us, are you working on the cross-faction or not? Should we be expecting any improvements? In what way and when? tell us exactly what is going on you are a community manager I would expect you to communicate with the community in a way that is understandable but I cannot understand this type of language there is nothing refutable about that statement anyway can you just say yes or no this date this will be implemented it's that easy can you stop telling us soon Mists of Pandaria soon. Was it Hades the first time they really announced that Mists of Pandaria is going to be happening? Hades launched like what? 2017 if I'm not mistaken? And it's still not even close, okay? It's not even close. They're working on it. Like, what I think is happening inside of the Twin Star team is... They say they're working on it, but they have one person part-time trying to make the entire expansion what do you think how long is that gonna take well it is gonna take a long time to make if there are no people working for them 
and nobody wants to work for them, obviously. And Twinstar is comfortable. They're making enough money for them. Just having Cataclysm expansion and making fresh and promising next expansion. People go play on Twinstar, on Apollo, because they're expecting. They're expecting that they can move on after some time. That they are not going to be stuck on Cataclysm forever. But they can use and play their characters that they created and have played on Cataclysm. And they can play them again on Pandaria. Is that happening? I don't know. I'm not promising anyone that Mist of Pandaria is going to happen on Twinstar. Like people have been telling me I'm waiting for Mop since 2015. Literally, there have been people back then that thought Mist of Pandaria is coming soon. How soon is now? Seven years after. Five years after. Three years after. These people have been waiting for ages. I remember one of my good friends in 2018 telling me, Hey man, I'm waiting for Mist of Pandaria here. I guess what? Guess where he's at right now? Three years later. Almost four years. At least be honest with the player base. You know what you can expect? The PvP season's gonna start, it's gonna last for a week. And then Stormforce is gonna open. And they're opening a Mist of Pandaria realm. You know what? All those people sick of waiting on Apollo will move there. Because they're like, okay, the mop is not happening here. I'm not willing to wait any longer. I'm leaving. And what does that mean? That's gonna take away like what? 30% of the population that is on Apollo 3 right now. What's the result of that gonna be? Dead Arena. The PvP is gonna die again. After one week. Like if I was Apollo team, I would be fucking making sure that I put up a statement right now about what's changing in PvP what exactly and when the change is going to be implemented and I'm making sure that I'm announcing what's going on with the Mist of Pandaria and giving an exact date in these days otherwise you have a large portion of the player base on Apollo 3 leaving I can guarantee you that I'm leaving for Stormforge I'm gonna give it a try maybe I won't stay for too long maybe I won't like it but I'm gonna give it a go and I think it's gonna be good and even if I stay on Apollo 3 which I probably will unless the PvP completely dies then I'm gonna play like 50 50 50 percent of the time on Apollo 3 and 50 percent on Stormforge and maybe on you wow because I really like it and like I like the Legion expansion too so we'll see about that but you're losing 50 percent of my playtime just because of not communicating things and not putting enough time into developing the new expansion that you promised. I wouldn't say anything if you didn't make these promises. You could have said just, okay, we're, we're on Cataclysm and we might make Mists of Pandaria, but don't count on that. No, they literally gave a schedule a few years back that they want to progress to Mists of Pandaria and that they are working on it. I'm not making this shit up. Look at these people. Look what they're saying. Look look at this guy. Can't we change it? The way you change a lot of shit that, to make server pop happy? No, it's Blizz like. Yeah, same as two times race for professions and uh, times three leveling. Yep. The BGQs. Nope. It's not Blizz like. The cross faction's not Blizz like. It wasn't Blizz like 12 years ago. There was no mercenary mode back then, why would we implement it? Yeah, just honestly trying to make the PvP seem better. Well, we all do. We all do. That's why I'm making these videos. Can't you work with us a little bit? They wouldn't communicate, that's the problem. Literally, like literally I would say the same people that work for Blizzard directly on retail are here. Like the same mentality. Like they're so high above all the players that they cannot talk to us. 
and asked for feedback and actually implemented. Not a single player with half a brain would object to cross-faction BGs and bloodthirsty PP vendors added. Anything other than that, other than this, is completely brain lag. I agree. Oh, look at this guy. Didn't Zwaki say a few days ago it's coming? In an announcement? No, of course not in an announcement. Maybe in someone's DMs, that guy could have written this text himself and make it up. We don't know. This is what Zvaki, the head game master, said. The thing is that Horde has the higher population currently, of which is the whole reason to why free faction changes to Alliance was introduced to begin with on A3. Outside of that, I'm afraid it's impossible for us to control what the respective faction community does in terms of in-game activities, in this case queuing for BGs. We're also working on cross-faction BGs, but it's not ready yet. So, no announcement, not official. Man, I love this guy. He's literally saying what I say. I don't think it'd be wise for the head GM to lie like that. Pretty sure it will come. Well, are you sure? Even if it was him and he DM'd somebody, that's not a promise. Nobody else knows. Okay, here comes the dancer. There is nothing refutable about that statement anyway. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, keep as many players as possible invested in the game. That would be great. That's not happening, unfortunately. Add vendor. Add vendor. Yeah, this is true. Tari has a really good system for this. Where you can uh, choose whether you want to play as Horde or Alliance in a battleground. Whenever you want to, you just write a command and it will assign you to whatever you want. But devs here do not care about PvP at all, so don't expect any changes at all. Is this what you wanted to hear your player saying? If I was administrator, the owner, or developer, would I want to hear people saying this about my work? That we don't care? Is that really your goal? Yeah, enjoy your long SQs, indeed. And then there are of course these people that just like to have fun and troll people that just like to talk shit about nothing just to talk something man this is just sad and if you scroll up this has been going on for so long you could like get let's say three to five people you could get like three to five people on team that would take care of like let's say there would be something like a PvP community manager all you need is three to five people that are as passionate as for instance this hated guy and those people could talk directly to developers and could find out about what's going on and could write an announcement a statement and tell us what is going on what they're working on when it's going to be implemented and i'm sure you would find people like that that will help you with this and help you communicate with the player base you know why don't you do that like you don't have to pay these people you can literally like give them some incentive to do it you can give them some stars for being a part of your twin star team and do this pvp community manager role and you'll be fine like there will be no more arguing about is the cross faction happening is it not did this guy say this or did the other guy say that? Did this guy DM me about something that that's never been announced? Or you want to play like PvP doesn't matter on Twin Star? That you don't care? That the devs don't care about PvP? That Twin Star is PvE server? Go play PvP on retail? Like, what do you want to be known for? Do you want to be known for as the as the best private server with the Cataclysm expansion? Do you want to be known for your team caring about it, about the server, about the players? Or do you want to be known for the bugs and glitches and the huge imbalance between the faction and the super long battleground queues where there's not even point in going online if you want to participate in random battlegrounds? Do you want to be known for the fact that your devs don't care? 
and that you are not able to communicate with your community like think about it what do you want to be known for number one communicate with your community okay I'm primarily a PvP player I say you can hire three to five people for the position of PvP manager PvP community manager PvP event master who will do some 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 events for you make it a lot more interesting for people to play on your server you can be special in this way and people will love you for that give them some stars in exchange for their work they'll be happy to do it happy to help the server that's number one communicate and hire people that will do this for free or almost for free and it doesn't cost you anything number two stop stop trying to be bliss like you are not retail wow 12 years ago when cataclysm was here even retail realizes now they implemented mercenary mode it is on retail now you have so many things that are not bliss like the times three experience rates the times two profession rates that were here for a week for christmas you're never gonna be blizzard 12 years ago so stop pretending like you're something that you're not and instead listen to the players what they're saying and start investing in people that can help you making the server better getting more people to play here not just dying after a few weeks or months after the fresh server has been released to then announcing another fresh server get another few people back for the hype for the fresh server for it to then die again and do it all over again just keep the community engaged keep people wanting to play on the server not just come here for a little bit and then go somewhere else because they find out that you're not listening that you don't care that you're not announcing things that you're doing like people want to see the announcements people want to know what's going on